All right, going back to finances, I have just set up two or three clients in a row with, of all things, my mortgage lender. Um, so I have a woman that I work with. Her name is Joanne and she works with guaranteed rate and they do personal loans. And it was an, an avenue that I hadn't thought of previously and their rates are really good. And she's like, Becca, I'm perfect for your families who need to look at different options for money. And within like a week or less, she's already helping one of my single moms with getting a loan <coughs> for her adoption. So there are different creative ways. There's also a ton of grants. The two biggest are helpusadopt.org. Now they only review contra or applications, I think only a couple times a year. And then there's giftofadoption.org. Those two, I believe, wanna see that you are matched first before they will grant you any money. Um, but they will hold your application and take it in and you can ask questions. They're really great about giving you feedback. If you wanna get that application in, knowing that you are moving forward with the process and wanna be considered or at least wanna know what they're looking for and then you can call them when you're matched and then they're not starting over. And if you Google adoption grants and loans, you'll find a million things out there, whether you're religious or not, um, there are loans and grants for everyone. Um, some of them require that you've been through infertility. Some of them require a certain faith. Um, some of them don't require any of that. Also, what I learned is that they're not looking for you to go into debt before they say, yes, you can have money. Um, they want to set you up for success. So I just want to let you know that and bank loans. You can ask your bank for a line of credit, refinance your mortgage. I've had people get a loan on their credit card, like a cash advance. Um, I've had people use their credit. I, I just had someone start with us who needed to wait because he just applied for a credit card that gave him back like 2% or something of everything he spent. And he's trying to use that for everything in adoption or as much as he can. So these are all different ways that you can think about money and fundraising, asking family or friends. Remember there is the adoption tax credit to be able to pay people back who loaned you money after the fact, go on a Facebook group. One of the ones with like 3000 people in it. If you search domestic adoption, there's like two or three really good ones and go on there. You can either search in the search bar grants and see what comes up, but maybe specifically asks, ask, does anybody know of a grant who will give you money ahead of time? Um, my, my client who I just talked about, my single mama who just matched again, she actually did get a, a grant, I think a $3,000 grant ahead of time which she knew she could have, like they promised it to her if she used a nonprofit agency, at, but she was guaranteed that within a year's time or something like that. Those are some of the things that you can do. Anyways, that's what I've got for you this morning. So be well, be safe, be ahead, play offensive. Don't be in defensive mode of your life. Take steps to get ahead and, um, you know, see the silver linings. There's lots of them out there. I mean, yesterday I took the most beautiful bike route ride and then picnicked out in my backyard and worked with my computer and had lunch with my son. It was a beautiful silver lining. All right. Thank you guys. Have a good day. Bye.